Hi Jazzy Greens and welcome back to another video. I have a tag that I am going to be participating in as you can tell by the title and it's called the Decor Home and Lifestyle Fall Tag. And now I was tagged by Lady Alley and her channel is, let me make sure I get it right, it's Decor Home and Lifestyle. Thank you, Lady Alley, for tagging me. I was so excited when I saw my name. I was like, yeah, another tag, because she knows I like doing tags. So anyway, there are several questions. I believe there are 13 questions that I'm going to be answering for you. So let's get started. Number one, why did you name your channel or channels what you did? Well, this is my second channel name that I named. My first channel name when I first started YouTube was Home Decorating with Liz. And now, as you can see, it's Jazzy Green Decor Style. Well, I named the first channel um, basically because I couldn't think of anything to name it. And I love decorating, so I just thought I would put decorating and put my name, you know, together. Home Decorating with Liz, because I like to decorate homes. So that's how I came up with that name. And Jazzy Green Decor Style, um, what did I think of that? I like the name Jazzy Green, and Jazzy Green really stands for me. I, I feel like I'm Jazzy, and my eyes are green, so I just put the two together. Jazzy Green, I love home decor, so I named it Decor. Number two, what is your channel about? Well, number one, my channel is about home decor. That's the reason why I started YouTube, because I love decorating. I love putting ideas together. I love beautiful things. I love beautiful homes. Um, my channel is about, uh, I do vlogs, um, car vlogs, vlogging wherever I can, you know, Think to do a vlog whether it's at home or in the store I do shop with me's I do um, tags because I love doing tag videos as you guys know some of you know I love them um, I do hauls I do shopping hauls uh, grocery hauls you know a variety of things like that but the number one thing I would say is home decor because that's what I really love. That's the main reason why I started YouTube. Okay, number three, is fall your favorite season? Why or why not? Fall is one of my favorite seasons. Anything to do with cooling down from that hot heat, scorching heat. Uh, so yeah, fall will be my um, favorite season as well as winter. So fall is it because I love the leaves, you know, as the leaves are dropping and um, just the cooler temperatures. And we transition from the heat to the cool and um, pumpkins are around and just the whole harvest um, festive, the festivities of fall. Number four, what would you like to do during the fall that you don't normally get to do. You know what, I wouldn't mind going horseback riding. You know, you don't have to deal with so much of the heat. You know, there's cooler and uh, I just think it would be really nice to go horseback riding. Take my family and we just go ahead and have a nice time. So horseback riding is what I would, that's the first thing that came up to my mind. Okay, number, number five. Is this your first channel? Well, I only have one channel, so I'm gonna say this is my first and only channel. However, I did have, like I mentioned before, I had a different channel name. So, but it was the same channel as this one, just a different name. Number six, do you celebrate Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas? And how will you be spending it this year? Well, no, I don't celebrate Halloween. I think that's for the devil, and uh, we're gonna leave it like that. Thanksgiving and Christmas, yes, I do celebrate um, both of those. 
I don't know how we're gonna be spending those holidays this year, especially with the pandemic still going on. Even though families, you know, we can get together, you know, but they want us to wear masks indoors. And um, I just don't know how we're, what we're gonna do this year. Um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna, I guess we're gonna do something. I just not sure, but I'm really not comfortable with getting together in large groups, um, especially in, in the home, you know, all cooped up together, sitting next to one another. I, you know, I'm not that comfortable with the idea of doing that. And this seems like a very sad time uh, it is a very sad time. We're approaching the holidays and this pandemic crisis is still going on. This virus is still going. So, you know, I really can't tell you what I'm going to do. But if we don't end up going anywhere, then I'm pretty sure I will end up cooking here at home. Number seven, what would you like people to remember from you this holiday season? Oh, wow, let's see. That's a hard question to think of. I love you, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I can't think of too much to say on that, but that I love you. And I'm glad that you are a part of my life and I'm a part of yours. So, I love you. Okay, number eight. What is your style of decor and color theme you're using this holiday, these holidays? I haven't really thought about what style and what uh, color theme I'm going to be using. You know, I usually stick with traditional. Uh, the traditional browns, the oranges, the, um, the yellowy colors, you know, those are pretty much what I normally stick with. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing this year because I haven't thought of it. Um, everything is just packed away and I haven't brought out anything yet to even to look through to see what I'm gonna do, but um, my style of decor, um, I'm probably traditional, I'm not sure. So you know what, you're gonna to have to stick around and just wait until I do a fall tour or some home decorating video. So just stay tuned for that and then you'll see. Okay, number nine, what are you most thankful for this year? Oh, that's a beautiful, wonderful question. I am thankful to be alive. A-L-I-V-E. That is truly what I can say right now because there's so many people who did not make it and who are not here today. So I'm thankful to God that I am alive and I'm well. My family is alive and doing well. So life. Number 10, are you ready for the holidays? <laughs> Or how do you get ready? I'm ready to a point, and then I'm not ready. Um, I guess I'm, what I'm trying to say is I'm not really gung-ho and on getting together with groups, large groups, family members, like I shared with you guys in the previous question. Um, I'm not even thinking about it, to be honest with you. I'm just being totally honest. I'm not even thinking about the holidays. I know they're gonna be here and you know, when they get here, I'm gonna be getting myself together to do something. But I'm not sure if I'm ready. I, To be honest with you, I just don't know if I'm ready or not. Um, I'm just ready for the cooler temperatures. I'm ready for this pandemic to stop. Um, and that's pretty much heavily on my mind these days. You know, just trying to stay safe. I'm not really thinking so much of holiday and um, decorating for the holiday, you know, I'm just keeping it real. That's not what's on my mind firsthand. Um, but how do I get ready? Well, sometimes just looking at commercials, looking at other home decor uh, videos, sometimes it helps to put me in the mood because I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not really so much in the mood for decorating for the fall. And I don't know why, I think it's because what we're all going through with this situation going on in the world. So that's why I'm not really um, that excited about it. But what I do is I go in my garage, I bring all, I have my husband bring all my um, 
big bins in, <laughs> in different colors. I have like white, green, and red. So he'll bring all those in and then I just lay everything out and just pick what I'm going to use. And um, then I start planning to decorate. So that's pretty much what I do. Okay, number, number 11 and we're almost done. Are you having any series on your channel? Tell us what they are. You know, I have never done a series on my channel. Um, it would be nice to do one day. It's just that I, that takes a lot of planning, a lot of thought, and I've been very busy lately. Um, some of you may or may not know, I lost a loved one recently, so I've been trying to make plans for things that we're doing with that, and um, just other things in my life that's going on that I haven't shared yet, and maybe I'll share it in another uh, video. I'll do a vlog one day, but, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do any series, but you know what, that's something that I have thought of, so I would like to do one, so we'll see. Number 12, your biggest tip for new YouTubers. Wow, that's a very good question too. I love that question. My biggest tip, I'm gonna give more than one because I can't just say one. Um, be yourself. That's the first one, be yourself. Now, when I first started my channel, it took a while for me to learn how to be myself because I was new at it, just like some of you may be new. So um, you just have to just be yourself. Uh, do what you love to do, put all, of, put all of your love into what you do. Um, be creative and um, just enjoy, enjoy because YouTube is a privilege. You know, it's a privilege to be on YouTube and I'm very happy to be on YouTube because I love to decorate. I love what I do. I love bringing content to you guys. It brings me joy. It, it just really does. So enjoy what you really do. Enjoy doing all that you do to put your videos together. And uh, you have to be self-motivated to do this. Um, I am self-motivated even though I was... Um, my son was the one who inspired me to become a YouTuber. And at first I was like, what? A YouTuber? Who's gonna watch me on YouTube? YouTube, you know, I couldn't even think of myself being on camera like this. But you know what? I love what I do. I really, really love it. So you have to be self-motivated. So that's another thing that I would say. If it's not in your heart, then don't do it. Because if you don't enjoy what you do, it's gonna show on camera and we'll see it, okay? But I love what I do, and I hope you guys can see that. Okay, the last and final question. Show us or tell us about a decor item that you bought recently that you really love. OMG. <laughs> that is something out of your norm for decor that you want to <laughs> challenge yourself with. Either you have not tried it over or in a long time. Now that was very difficult for me because I have not been shopping lately to buy any typical home decor. The only thing that I could share with you guys that I have bought recently and that are that is these chargers. These are gold chargers that I got from um, Dollar Tree, and I think I got six of them. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or not because um, the color is not, you probably can't tell on camera, but the, the color of it is not that good. It's kind of fading, and this is how it looks on the back. But I'm just not sure if I'm going to use them. You probably can tell right in here that it's, it's kind of faded. A little bit so I'm not sure how I'm gonna use these or if I will even use them at all but I do love this I was attracted to it when I first saw it because you know it was gold but it's not it's not really the kind of gold that I really really expected this to look like but they're very elegant and very beautiful and I think I can make it work you know if I just put my mind to it and I started to throw these away <laughs> 
you would say throw them away why don't you give them away i'm going to challenge myself to use these and try to come up with a nice beautiful tablescape but anyway that's the end of this tag i hope that you have enjoyed watching lady alley thank you so much for tagging me Mwah. love you girl i really appreciate you uh choosing me to do the tag now i'm gonna tag a few ladies and i'm gonna have your names down in my description box because right now i don't know who i want to tag so just check my description box and if you see your name if you want to do it please go ahead and do it okay thank you guys so much for watching and if you're new here welcome i'm so glad to have you and if you have not yet joined the jazzy green decor style family what are you waiting on go ahead and click on that subscribe button it's free Give me a big thumbs up, guys, and please leave me comments down below. And uh, you guys have a blessed day, and I will see you next time. Bye.